This problem says the human circulation system has approximately a billion cap capillary vessels. Each vessel has a diameter of about 8 micrometer. The size of a cell is about roughly a micrometer, so I mean a typical cell. So roughly 10 times the width of a cell. Assuming cardiac output is 5 liters per minute, determine the average velocity of blood flow through each capillary vessel. Okay, so flow rate as stated is uh, area velocity flow velocity times area of cross-section. Okay, so the area of cross-section is essentially all the blood is split into the billion capillaries at uh, diameter 8 micrometer. Okay, so this is the rate at velocity in which at which they're flowing n times the area of each capillary area of cross-section of each capillary so flow rate equal to that so velocity is flow rate divided by n times pi r squared okay so flow rate is 5 liters per minute each liter is 10 minus 3 meter cube and a minute is 60 seconds so there is a flow rate in oh, maybe I'll, I'll, let me do the flow rate first flow rate equal to 5 liters per minute equal to 5 each liter is 10 minus 3 meter cube each minute is 60 seconds Okay, that's the flow rate of blood, and so the velocity is 8.33 into 10 minus 5 meter cube per second divided by 10 to the 9. There's a billion capillaries into and the radius is 4 micrometers. Alright, so, so let's take care of parts of 10. That's 10 minus 12, uh, 9 minus 12, now minus 3, and so you get left with minus 2 there. 8.33 into 10 minus 2 meters per second pi into and 4 square is 16 okay so so the velocity works out to Six six into ten minus three meters per second, and ten minus three is meters is millimeters, so one point six six millimeters per second. So that's the rate at which blood flows in your capillaries, and it flows so slow because uh, uh, you need time for uh, um, the blood to exchange nutrients with cells and in the lungs for oxygen and carbon dioxide to be exchanged. All right. Thank you.